Hello there, everybody. Okay, welcome to another one of my reviews. Um, this specific review is about the uh, USA Gear uh, DSLR backpack. Um, I got this about four months ago and I used it uh, for a few projects and uh, it's been everything I've needed and um, there's no complaints whatsoever so far. Let me just show you a little bit about this backpack. So um, there's a lot of different compartments. Uh, there's a top compartment over here on the, uh, over here and we have over here another side compartment, a small one. Um, we've got here for your memory cards uh, just in the top front. Uh, you've got a side um, compartment where you can take out your camera, like really easy to just reach in and grab it and take it out, easy access. Um, we got over here, this is the top compartment that allows you to get to your, uh, your camera. And there's even a uh, laptop compartment um, just over here uh, in the back. Uh, this can fit a 15.6 inch uh, laptop, but for me, I rarely use it just because um, the backpack gets pretty heavy already with all the gear that I put in there. Um, Let's see here. the the shoulder The shoulder straps are fairly fairly good. I mean, they're a little bit thin, but you don't need anything any thicker than that. Um, there's a lot of straps on this. Is one thing is you can actually fit this around your your body, and there's straps that go around that buckle up to allow you to have. Um, I guess more support to allow yourself to, to carry all the stuff that's in your bag. It's, it here. You can see the very top compartment has a lot of room. So uh, you can see here there's a little mesh compartment and I have uh, my HDMI cord. I have another um, small uh, tripod mount over here. Uh, inside here there's a lot of space. We got the lens hood, we got a uh, uh, lens converter. Oh, I've got a Joby um, mini tripod here, flexible tripod. Uh, what else I got there? Ooh, I got a uh, what's this? Um, focus ring. And I also got my uh, Leatherman. So it's, it's super handy, just a lot of space. And um, I don't really have to worry about running out of space. I can always put more stuff in there. And really easy to work with. So that's the top compartment. Oh, and also uh, you can see that it's pretty heavy duty. If you want to hang this up somewhere, uh, it's got a rubber um, top here, so it's not going to break so easily. It's, got, it's kind of reinforced. It's pretty good. So we come to the side of the backpack. Uh, on this side, uh, we have a smaller compartment on the top. This is actually another, got another focus ring here that I keep for my, uh, for my camera on the, um, on, on the big rig. Uh, just the perfect size to keep it in there. You can do whatever you want with whatever you want to put in there, but that's what I keep there. Um, this other compartment here is your easy access compartment uh, to your DSLR. So as I open this one, there it is, ready to go. I can easily just take it out and ready to fire. There's no, nothing really to stop it. It's so easy just to open that one compartment, let it out. I even have um, a smaller compartment here, uh, and this allows me to take this uh, wrist wrist guard for the camera. I can take that on and put it on and whatever it is and put it back into that compartment, close it all up, and it's good to go. So here we have on the top of the bag, on the front of the bag, um, a few compartments. Uh, in the main compartment down below, you can just open it up. It's like a C-shaped um, opening, and then it just takes you into uh, your camera bag. Now, I've got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, I've got all my filters up here. Um, I've also got uh, what lens we got. One lens over here in the corner, a massive big lens. Uh, it's my uh, 24 to 75. Like that 24 85. Um, and then over here, this is my 50 mil uh, lens. Uh, we got the, uh, the body of the camera right there. I've got another space uh, just over here. There's nothing in there. And then I got my 24 mil um, lens as well, my, my prime lens. And then you can see here, there's, a, there's even more pockets. So I can open up these ones and put whatever I want in there. Uh, I've got a lens uh, 
cleaner, um, lens pen, and then uh, what else I got over here? I got some stuff. I've always packing things. Oh, and just some uh, really simple uh, lens lens rags. And just over here on top, we got your memory card holder. Now inside here, all my memory cards are usually in plastic. Um, this one's kind of just free roaming. And then we've got maybe two or three others also in this little mesh uh, container area here. Uh, the actual memory card itself can fit. Some of them actually can fit in these compartments that have been made here. Um, I have one here, this is a 32 Samsung. I put that straight in there, it fits. Um, I think my, uh, my other ones, what is this one, the uh, Sandisks? The Sandisks are actually, actually too wide for some reason to, to fit in there on their own. Um, but I also like to, to, keep, to keep these uh, more protected within their, their plastic. So yeah, that's a really good compartment as well. So I think a lot of people are looking for a bag that can accommodate um, maybe a small tripod or um, something that can hold a, a small gimbal. Uh, this pocket actually allows you to do that. It's got a tightener, it's got a, you know, elastic, and you can actually put the um, small tripod in here and then buckle it up at the top here. Um, and then it just keeps it in there quite, quite snug, actually. You can pull, pull this tight. Um, I had a small gimbal before, and that gimbal fit in here perfectly. Uh, uh, that gimbal broke, and then I have now a Ronin S. And the Ronin S does fit in here, but it's way too big for what this is good for. Like, uh, it just can't support the weight of that big Ronin. But it's kind of nice, and I guess whatever, I can use this for whatever purpose, maybe a water bottle or Maybe if I have a small tripod, I could do that too. So that's for that one. So I forgot to mention as well that uh, this bag is not completely waterproof. Uh, it's a little water resistant, but the bag comes with a uh, waterproof cover. And this waterproof cover is, is kept in the top compartment. You can take it out, you can drape it over your, your bag, and then voila, it is completely 100% waterproof. So that's pretty cool. So that's the bag, this is it. This is the USA Gear bag. I got it on Amazon for about $75. Um, it's been super useful. I use it on all my projects and maybe you guys wanna try it out. Thanks.